Hello, my name is Dr. Peter Harrop. I'm chairman of ID TechX. I led the team working on a pretty radical change in the world of electronics. As you see it before you, we have a new report, Electronics Reshaped 2020 to 2040, which I'm going to introduce to you now. Now, a good way of introducing this subject, which includes electrics as well as electronics, is to uh, share with you some of the things people have said uh, about their projects. Uh, one at the top with this technique, we can actually print the sensor directly onto any material and print the circuitry all in one fell swoop. Uh, the next one, we can actually print these supercapacitors anywhere on any substrate. Thus, they can easily be mounted on any surface, just like a simple spray on the walls. Another one, in just a few years, I'd love to see this electronic sheet embedded in furniture, toys, bags and clothes. I hope it makes the technology more invisible. And the black text is telling you about another project. You can do more than just cut this sheet into fun and interesting shapes. The sheet is thin and flexible, so you can mold it around curved surfaces such as bags and clothes. Our idea is that anyone could transform various surfaces into wireless charging areas. So complete circuits you cut to shape. And sometimes such circuits you adjust the electrical parameters by what you do on receiving it. The green text, uh, customizable simply by squeezing it in the space available. Any deformations can be converted into electricity for portable electronics, aircraft, automobiles, implants, toys. Indeed, it's biodegradable. And another transparent photovoltaic films for windows, walls, roof tiles and sensors. And the last one, a slight mouthful, reconfigurable, functionally deployable metamaterials in the shape memory polymer that you feed into the 3D printer in your whatever it may be, pharmaceutical factory, clothing factory, but you are bypassing a traditional electrics or electronics production facility. And it is said later that will clearly become electronically activate active feedstock to go into things. An example, paper supercapacitors, these you roll, fold and cut to purpose. There's a whole area of papertronics. That one there is driving an LED. And this one, another mouthful, hold on to your seats. Uh, this is customizable, stretchable, wearable, breathable, self pap sensors, but they're backed by customizable, stretchable, wearable, breathable supercapacitors to power them. So this project is the sort of thing that's eagerly wanted by the medical industry. It's not even a story about little things. We've covered paper, we've covered plastic film, we've covered sticky tape. It is about all those things, uh, but this is an example on sale already. And this is a British company, Renovagen, using copper, indium, gallium, diselenide, photovoltaics. We have all the detail in the report and a lot more technical stuff in there. And they do about 30 kilowatts that you can unroll like a carpet. A farmer can do that to work his robots as they move across the fields and um, charge them. Uh, or they can be used, it can be used for outdoor venues, many, many applications. But basically, uh, solar cells like a carpet, that does not go anywhere near a traditional electronics or electrical engineering factory. That is a materials play. Now, something at the large end, let's um, come away from all that we've discussed so far, um, which does include even thermoelectric paint, not just uh, solar paint and so on. There's much more that I have not covered, but I, just in the brief time, what I'd like to show you uh, uh, the larger side of things. Um, Lamborghini, working with Massachusetts Institute of Technology, has a car with self-healing bodywork uh, that is energy storage. It is a supercapacitor. There are about six other locations working on supercapacitor bodywork for vehicles. 
and there are successful solar cars and the two can go together so you could may maybe have self-healing but certainly photovoltaics making the electricity and supercapacitors storing the electricity and all that's the bodywork you take no extra weight you take no extra space you can use the space in the vehicle for better things and what's not to like about that and the thought is of course that we used to stamp out cars from huge rolls of steel and using massive presses and maybe just maybe you will stamp out a car from feedstock supplied by value-added materials suppliers uh, that provide your solar supercapacitor big reels of material to stamp into whatever you wish. Here is the report. So this is us. Um, that's the report. I hope you found it interesting. We believe it is something of a mega trend. It is something that will greatly excite uh, added value materials companies. It will also excite companies from uh, clothing factories to medical equipment factories, aerospace and more, and they're all covered in the report uh, because they're going to be able to buy feedstock, as you might call it, uh, that has all these functions that they can then tailor electrically, electronically, sometimes optically, and all the rest. For instance, solar paint, you'd alter its properties by how thick you painted it. It's a very big story, and in a short time, I hope I've at least given you some appetite for what we think is a big, exciting change to come. Thank you for listening.